In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create manual growth chart in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I have created uh, different years from 2015 to 2022 and for each year what is the growth you can define and then you can just connect this with the help of a line graph something like this and here i have uh, put uh, some arrows indicating whether that particular year we have the growth or there's a degrowth so uh, depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to change the background with some pattern design for that right mouse click go to format shape uh, under the fill go to the pattern fill and here i'm going to choose this one which is the large grid and here the foreground color i'm going to choose some light gray color then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle from this end to this end shape outline make it no outline and the height i'm going to make it as 0 0.05 all right and then shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to make this as black then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give a gray color here then depending of how many uh, uh the columns you need you can just add that one so i'm just going to hold the control shift key and i'm just going to add like this you can see here if the space is not uh, equal between the rectangles that is not a problem we can correct it at the later stage so once this is done i'm going to select these rectangles with the help of the shift key then go to the align i'm going to say distribute horizontally so it gives equal spacing between this one and then i'm going to insert text box here i'm going to type say 2015 center align make it bold and if you, know, if you want to increase the size and put it exactly in the center then add the same thing for each column here all right and later on we can change the year to the the years which you need all right so i'm just adding up all right then you can just change to 2016 17 like that and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the axis here where I, I can enter the numbers so go to insert text box and i'm going to say say 50 enter 40 30 20 10 and 0 and here i'm going to give a spacing of 2 maybe if not we have to increase the spacing so i'm going to increase the spacing to 2.5 and i'm going to put it here you can see like this and share the color i'm going to give some gray color all right so once this is done i'm going to add the graph the line graph here so go to insert text box sorry the shapes select the oval shape click the oval shape shape outline make it no outline and you can give any color of your choice i'm going to give red all right and then go to insert shapes select one more uh shape here the same oval shape re reduce the size and i'm going to put it here all right and i'm going to make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white or any other color of your choice you can do it and then let me just reduce a little bit more yeah and then i'm going to give some shadow effect give the shadow effect and if you want to increase the distance you can increase the distance and then make sure that both these objects are center aligned align center and align middle press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key and reduce the size so i'm going to put it here maybe this will be at the 40 okay let me just drag and drop one by one like this and then depending on the requirement where i need to place this or position this we can decide that 
so let me just do this one this one should come on 30 so i'm just going to bring it to 30 this i want at close to 45 this one i'm going to make it to 20 you can see here this one let it be like this this i'm going to give a little bit down this somewhat up and this is also somewhat up all right and then if you want you can just change the color according to your requirement so you can just choose any color of your choice you can see here i'm just giving some different color combinations here okay i'm just giving some purple some blue all right so just give uh, any color of your choice let me just again select that and i'm going to give maybe this color gray and here i'm going to give some green color so once this is done i'm going to connect this dot so for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the freedom sorry freeform shape and from this end click it here here you can see here one by one you need to just click it and double click all right and you can give the color as black sorry shape outline maybe you can give a black color and outline if you want you can just increase the size and one more thing which you need to do is you need to just send this to back all right and then if you want to give some shadow effect for this line you can give some shadow effect maybe the shadow effect which is up okay like this shadow effect you can do it and once this is done you can add some text here i'm going to say this is a 40 percent if you want you can put the percent or just the whole number whatever you want you can just put it here all right and you can just choose the same color which i've used all right press ctrl d and just put it here and later on we can just change the color according to the color which we have selected here so let me just do it quickly one by one and here you can see i'm just going to put like this all right and then change the color according to the color which we have selected for this maybe this one and here also i'm going to give the same color and here i'm going to give the red color or the maroon color like that you need to just change the color according to the color selections what we did for each option all right so let's do it one by one so you can see here i have added the same colors and changed the numbers and then you can go to insert text box and you can just add your title i'll just say why why growth chart make it black color make it bold increase the size and put it here and go to insert shapes select one rectangle and add one rectangle like this and shape outline whichever color which you want you can just add it all right and then i'm going to add one arrows here the arrows for each option so i'm just going to choose up or down arrow so small arrow to signify that the numbers are going up or down so shape outline no outline if it is going up i'm going to make it green if it is uh, down then it will be red all right so first of all this one this is coming down so i'm just going to make this uh, rotate it and this one is red color so this is up so i'm just going to select this one and put it here again this is up okay so one year it is up and down like that uh, perspective i'm just adding just to give some beautification look and give some meaning all right and the other one i'm going to this down so this will be down and this is down all right yeah so you can see here we have uh, done this particular part now it's time to do the animation 
So let me just show you some simple animations. I'm going to go to the animations, enable the animation pane. Uh, first of all, if you want this line to be animated, you can add the animation, which I'm going to more entrance effect, stretch, click OK, and let it be like this. So it comes like this, all right? And then I would like to show all the years one by one, or you can just show this first. Whichever way, if you want, let me just do this one first, add animation. I'm going to make it stretch, stretch, make it from uh, bottom and this should happen after previous. All right. And then this one, I'm going to click it here and this one should come from top and this should happen with previous again. So if I play, it comes like this. Remember? So now I'm just going to copy the animation one by one okay and in the meantime if you want to animate uh, at the time of this one you can do it or at the end also so it's up to you which uh, how the animation you like so i'm just going to do the animation one by one you can see here like that animation we need to copy it so let me just uh, quickly do this animation part all right you can see here almost we are finishing with the the bars and then this is the last one yes so if i play now it looks like this you can see and once this is done i'm going to do some animation for this one so this animation add animation more entrance effects select the basic zoom click ok and this one add animation again if you want the same effect you can make it the same basic zoom and this should happen with previous and this should happen after previous all right so if i play it comes like this and then it will start working for coming from this one so now it's very easy i'm just going to select this one click it here all right then again this one I'm going to select this text so likewise I just need to do one by one and then the animation will complete